But yeah, thanks for joining me again for my real walkthrough of Doom. My name is Major Slacker, your name is Hardcore Slacker number 1573, and this is the, I'm going to go with Argent de Nure mission. Alright, this is the last mission in the game, and then the the big mega boss fight. Um, I have a whack ton of weapon points, and I have some um, Praetor Suit to tokens. Let's spend those Praetor Suit tokens, and now every category is maxed out. All right. Seems there's just enough in the game to max out everything, and I indeed collected every single Praetor suit token available. And let's spend all these weapon points. I'm going to have enough at the end of this level to max out all the upgrades on all my weapons, even though half of them I don't even use. I just did the math the other day, and I figure I need 63 weapon points to get everything I would like to have um, to run through the game. And there is, you require, I believe, 99 weapon points to max out everything. So I'm going to be 7 short. I'm going to get, get those easily this level. There we go. So all we need is 9 weapon points to get remote detonation for the rocket launcher. And I have two, so that leaves a shortage of seven, a deficit of seven. This level is four major fights. There's three what I call Wraith area fights, and this first fight here, in this area here. This is not a Wraith area fight, but uh, this is the first big fight right in this area here. And if you've got the tactical scope on the assault rifle, you can do a lot of sniping. Because there's three or four imps fighting it out with the Cacodemon down there. So you can whack all the imps while they're busy trying to, you know, shoot the Cacodemon. Get some cheap shots in here. And then once they're all down, kill the Cacodemon. Be advised you're not invulnerable way up here. Those imps can shoot you with amazing accuracy if they get like wind of what you're doing yeah they will fire their fireballs up here okay so there is uh yeah i'm just doing this with a mobile turret just in case there's a couple of an imp left over which often pops out and tries to whack it okay so there's a berserk power up in here okay now what i like to do is go for this uh teleporting thing here come out here come up top and just wait for the summoner to spawn right there. Whack her and then go for the berserk power up. I like to get that summoner right away. There's two more, one or two more. And then just go ape with the berserk power up. Going after the big boys. If you, nobody spawns, what I usually like to do is go back through this portal. And that gets everything going. Again, you know, enemies start spawning on that little platform there. Going for Revenants, going for the big boys. Revenants, Hell Knights, Pinkies, and any imp that gets directly in my way, but not uh, kind of like leaving imps alone until everyone else is down. And I'm looking for another summoner, and I didn't get it. There is some chainsaw ammo available in this area. So it's okay to use your chainsaw. And out came the BFG. There's the other summoner. Let's see if we can get her. Stun bomb. Gauss cannon. Siege mode. And she's down and out. Sometimes there's three. I'm not sure what the criteria is. Sometimes there's three summoners. And this cheeky little imp was... <laughs> these guys are tag, tag teaming me. There we go, we got a checkpoint, that means this fight is over. Unfortunately, I didn't get to leech anybody for some armor, but there is some armor to be had in this area. So let's go get the chainsaw ammo underneath the stairs and do a little armor run. There's some armor bits here. Okay, just running, doing an inventory of my ammo. There should be some more army bits over here. Here we go. I 
thanks everybody. Thank you everybody for your feedback on my uh, questions about uh, doing an Ultra Nightmare run of Doom and doing Wolfenstein either Old Blood or New Order. From what I can tell, um, the vote kind of went, not that I was doing a vote, it was more like a feedback poll, but people voted mostly for Old Blood, but there were still a lot of votes for New Order. I'm going to do both. I'm going to do both games. This is a secret, okay? Secret skull switch. It's not a secret skull switch, but what happens is it opens up a secret. So I hit that skull switch, and I should have showed this first. It's right over there. What it does is, is it raises this block right right there. This block right here. That's what that switch does. and allows you to go back up top, and this area right here opens up. Get some BFG and some chainsaw ammo. Yeah, I'm doing both, definitely. Wolfenstein, Old Blood, and New Order. Now here, I just want to kind of like sucker all these zombies towards one of these explosive barrels. Just, you know, <laughs> surely for amusement. I got a gun that down with the pistol. There you go. A little bit of blow-up shit for the Slackster. Somebody asked me if I was going to do the Bioshock HD collection. Bioshock the collection. In case you don't know, they recently uh, remastered Bioshock just the way they're going to do with Skyrim. Hang on, I want to talk about this area. There is, um, I believe, a Hell Knight and some Revenants here. But there's some important goodies around the corner here, and I want to go get him. That armor right there. I'm going to make a run for it because this Hell Knight spawns. I don't want him ruining my armor. There he is right there. And he did a little bit. And there's a Cacodemy behind him. I want to line them up, see if I can get a multiple kill. And I did. There we go. So they were taken down. So I did get a little bit of armor in the exchange. Leech some armor from that imp. And we're good. Yeah, they remastered Bioshock as well. Now, what I was working on this week was uh, sending emails to 2K Games to see if they could um, comp me a copy of this remastered Bioshock for Bioshock 1. Because they said if you own a retail copy of the original Bioshock, which is what I had, I didn't have the Steam version. When I bought Bioshock, it was way back in the day when you still, you know, bought discs of games in the store and you took the disc home and inserted it in your computer and installed the game like that. No Steam, no bullshit like that. So yeah, <laughs> so that's what I have. Uh, if you have a Steam version of Bioshock, um, you can upgrade it for free to the remastered version, but I didn't have a Steam version. But they made some uh, uh, special considerations for that. You have to email 2K games. It's a bit of a, a rigmarole where you have to take a photo of your you know, your Bioshock um, game box and the disc and uh, oh man it's a big rigmarole it took about four or five days to get this done but they finally sent me a steam key to the remastered version of Bioshock and it also has this new higher difficulty level called Survivor so that is on the agenda as well that's on the list of games I'm going to be doing here on Major Slack videos as well so lots coming up. Sorry, I'm not talking about my strategy here. This is basically, this is a, a no-brainer. You have to do some Super Mario platforming here to continue along here. You get ambushed by a couple of Cacodemons. Use your mobile turret to take care of them. And Super Mario over here, up here, and they're going to be ambushed by a couple of imps here. Wait for it, and then blow the barrel. Takes care of both of them. There's some more armor if you need it. We're working our way towards this, the first Wraith area. What we have to do is um, disable these three Wraith thingamajigs. Two ways to get to the first Wraith area. I recommend you platform just like you saw me do there to get 
this mega health pickup right here. Alright, there we go. 200 armor and 200 health. Now these wraith areas are mega fights. Okay, mega fights. This first wraith area has a quad damage power up and it has a couple of portals, one on each side. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to take the portal immediately over to the other side, over to the right side. Okay, and I'm going to make a standoff there. This, I'm going to show you this beautiful standoff point and you can make a standoff there with the mobile turret and I have infinite ammo because I got the rich get richer rune and when my armor finally runs down I'm going to take the portal back to the other side do this a little armor run that I've got figured out and then go grab the quad damage power that's the plan and we can pick off a couple of imps and a hell knight before we get started there we go and a hell razor down there pick all those guys off and then we're going to jump down and take the portal which is right below there's the armor that we're going to do with the armor in, and there's the quad damage pickup power up, alright? And that's where I'm going to make the standoff, right on the other side over there. Alright, so that's the plan. Let's get underway. Drop down, turn around, go through the portal, around the other side. You kind of have to go towards the wraith doors to get everything started, to get everything spawned. And I just want to pick up a couple of ribbons here, and then I'm going to make a run for my standoff point, which is right up here. right up here in the corner. The beautiful standoff point. And then I just go ape with the mobile turret and I keep chucking out siphon grenades with reckless abandon. I don't even bother aiming. I just throw them out there because I know there's bound to be enemies out there. And this will help keep my armor up as long as possible. And I want to do like the uh stun bomb shotgun combo on that pinky, pinky there because they take too much uh, they have too many hit points to really do in with a mobile turret it's a frontal attack and there we go stun bomb Aztec me with the shot super shotgun back to the mobile turret still doing pretty good on the uh, armor back to the mobile turret check out some cypher grenades see I'm not even looking where I'm throwing I'm just throwing them out there because I know there's bound to be enemies out there and if they're not well no biggie okay so Hell Knight got right up in my face blew away my armor and that's it it's time to go for the Alamo climb up there get some BFG ammo jump down here go through the portal this we're right back on the other side now and this is my little armor run. Get this armor here. And I blew the double jump over to get the quad damage power up. <laughs> so I have to go back. Back to the uh, portal. Here, over to the bridge. Use the learner. So we got the quad damage power up. Super shotgun. And I did pretty good. So there's doesn't seem like there's much left. That's it, checkpoint reach, yeah. Did pretty good at my standoff point. So didn't really need the quad damage that much. Just gonna go running around and loot the place and get ready for the next wraith area. So yeah, lots of great shooters coming up on Major Slack videos. Both Wolfenstein's and uh, the new Bioshock remastered. Oh yeah, and as far as the Ultra Nightmare run, that's going to have to be a work in progress that I'm going to be working on in the background because I figure I'm going to have to complete the entire run before I start uploading videos. It wouldn't be fair if I, you know, uploaded, say, nine levels of Ultra Nightmare and then, like, blew it, you know, and then, like, Everybody's left hanging. Like, what happened, Slack? And I just, like, have to explain to everybody I blew it. So, uh, so I'm gonna have to complete the entire walkthrough 
before I start uploading videos. So that's going to be a work in progress that I'll be working on in the background. Okay, so after all that, you come up to this Wraith thingamajig and you interact with it. And that's one of three Wraith thingamajigs. Destroy it. Two more to go to complete the level. That's coming up next video. Make sure you hit the switch on the right side when you're coming down here. And this will open up a door right here. Take you to a couple secrets. Up here. Climb the ledge. And follow this blood trail. It's kind of really hard to see. Follow this blood trail right up to the classic map lever. See that? It's really hard to see. Eh? That's how you find her. They'll follow the blood trail. Right after you climb the ledge, look for the blood trail. There we go. So you get the classic map ringy thing. And conveniently enough, it's just off to your right here. A little bit of health. And some shotgun and some plasma rifle ammo. Then continue up the hill here. Some more BFG and chainsaw ammo. And we're coming up towards the Wraith, the second Wraith area. And this is where you should be at this point. Three secrets discovered. Now, if you didn't get that BFG cell on top of this kind of rectangle, rectangle here, that's another way to get it there. And we're coming up on the next Wraith area. That's it. I'm going to call out a video. I want to thank you all very much for watching. And if you thought this was remotely entertaining and or informative, please subscribe to my channel to get more videos like this hot off the press. All right. See you next video.